So far in this section, we have only discussed the theta of a single option at a time. But most option traders are likely to have positions or portfolios consisting of more than one option contract at a time, and they will want to know the theta of their entire portfolio. They will also want to know how their total theta will evolve as time passes, or as other parameters change such as the underlying price. All of this information will help them gauge how their options will be affected by the passage of time. Just like we discussed in section 8 with respect to delta, you can also sum the theta of each individual option in the portfolio to get the total theta. Let's look at a simple multi-leg option position, a bare put spread. This position consists of purchasing one put option, then selling another put option with a lower strike price, but both with the same expiration date. This chart shows the theta of a $100, $95 bare put spread in green and of the two individual options that combine to create this spread. The $100 put option in blue is purchased and therefore gives us a negative theta, meaning it loses value as time passes. However, the $95 put option in red is sold and therefore gives us positive theta, meaning we gain from this option's loss in value as time passes. The put spread line is simply the sum of the theta for the $95 put short and $100 put long. Whether the theta is positive or negative for the spread depends on where the underlying price is in relation to the strike prices. Starting on the far left, with the underlying price down at $50 to $60, both options are so far in the money that they both have hardly any extrinsic value to lose. Theta is therefore very small for both individual options and also for the spread as a whole. Moving to the right to the $65 to $95 area, both options are still in the money, but do have some extrinsic value. If we take the underlying price of $85 as an example, the short $95 put has a theta of 0.0632, and the long $100 put has a theta of minus 0.0461. This means the spread has a total theta of 0.0171. The theta is positive, meaning if the underlying price is sitting there, the spread will currently gain value as time passes. Moving further to the right, to the area over $100, both options are now out of the money, but also have some extrinsic value. If we take the underlying price of $115 as an example, the short $95 put has a theta of 0.0409, and the long $100 put has a theta of minus 0.0634, which means the spread has a total theta of minus 0.0225. The theta is negative, meaning if the underlying price is sitting there, the spread will currently lose value as time passes. Then finally to the far right of the chart, both options are now deep out of the money and have very little extrinsic value to lose. Theta is therefore very small for both individual options, and also the spread as a whole. We've used a vertical spread here, but the same holds true for other spreads, ratios, and any other option combination you can think of. Underlying price movement, implied volatility, and time will all still have an effect on the theta of multi-leg option strategies, just as they do for individual options. To get the total theta for all the legs combined, we can simply sum the theta for all the individual legs. Notice also that even though the passage of time still has an effect on the spread, because the theta of each leg partially cancel each other out, the magnitude of the effect of time is considerably less than for either of the individual options. This behaviour of reducing the effect of certain Greeks can make certain option spreads more attractive than naked options in certain circumstances. More to come on that theme in later sections. To keep things simple, we have so far assumed a position size of 1. This will rarely be the case in practice, so we'll often need to know the theta for positions that vary in size. To calculate the theta of a position size that does not equal 1, we simply multiply by the position size to give the total theta of the position. The Bitcoin options on Deribit have a contract multiplier of 1 meaning each option contract represents a notional position of one Bitcoin. With this in mind, let's look at a few examples of calculating the total theta, taking into account the position sizes. For example, 
If you purchase five Bitcoin call options with a theta of minus 0.08 each, the total theta of your position is minus 40 cents. This is calculated as 5 multiplied by minus 0.08, which equals minus 0.4. This means you would expect the position to lose 40 cents over the next day if all else remains equal. If you purchase 10 calls with a theta of minus 0.15 and purchase 10 put options with a theta of minus 0.12, the total theta of your position is minus $2.70. This is calculated as 10 multiplied by minus 0 0.15 plus 10 multiplied by minus 0 0.12, which equals minus 1.5 minus 1.2, which equals minus 2.7. This means you would expect the position to lose $2.70 over the next day if all else remains equal. And finally, if you purchase 10 puts with a theta of minus 0.1 and sell 10 puts with a theta of minus 0.12, the total theta of your position is 20 cents. This is calculated as 10 multiplied by minus 0.1 plus minus 10 multiplied by minus 0.12, which equals minus 1 plus 1.2, which equals 0.2. Remember, we have sold the second leg of puts here, so the position size is minus 10 rather than just 10. This gives us a positive theta for that leg, and the total position also now has positive theta. This means you would expect the position to gain 20 cents over the next day if all else remains equal. In summary, the theta of a multi-leg option strategy is equal to the sum of each of the thetas for the individual options it contains. Remember to also adjust for the position size by multiplying the theta of the option by the position size.